Hello everybody. Welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making wake up bars. Uh, and the reason they're wake up bars is because I am putting caffeine powder in the soap. So each bar is going to be like a triple shot of espresso energy in there. And also I'm using uh, lime essential oil that uh, is very refreshing. My husband was thinking of he wanted to call it refreshing bars, but I thought with all that caffeine, we're going to go for wake up bars. So let me tell you some of the properties of why am I putting caffeine in this soap. So uh, it stimulates blood flow, which we like that. Um, it's shown to, which stimulated blood flow is shown to aid in collagen production. So we like that. <laughs> um, it tightens skin, it's anti-inflammatory. This is caffeine topically. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing a triple shot of espresso internally, but we're talking about putting it on your skin. So you will absorb some of this caffeine, it's, but you won't get the jitters like you do if you like drink it. So um, let's see, caffeine on the skin, it helps with swelling and redness. Again, that's an inflammation issue and it's anti-inflammatory. Uh, it draws water out of your cells. That's why coffee can dehydrate you. Well, when you put it on your skin, it draws water out of your cells which can help reduce the appearance of cellulite. That's kind of cool. Um, it does boost energy. You will get a little pickup from this. Uh, I, this is the only soap that I would recommend not using on children. You can figure out why for yourself. <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't want my babies calfed up, but that's, uh, that's just me. So, uh, and the lime essential oil, um, micro, Huh, I can't even read my own writing. I took notes, I looked up, you know, I, and I took notes. But anyway, it, it supports skin rejuvenation, it's refreshing, it's stimulating, it's a very, you know, wake up alert scent. Uh, it's antiviral, antiseptic, antibacterial, and it's an astringent. And these are all topical things. Um, I don't know about taking essential oils internally. I know people have done a lot of research, um, but I'm just talking about your skin today. So. Caffeine, lime and caffeine. For my liquid, I'm using coconut milk, because you know, the lime, I thought the lime and the coconut, I just had to do it, I had to go there. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna get my oils pulled together, melted and cooled. My coconut lye solution is cooling, coconut milk lye solution is cooling. I'm gonna pull everything together and we're gonna come back and make some soap. And we're ready to roll here. I've got uh, my oils, hard oils and soft oils melted up and cooled. I've got my coconut milk lye solution here is all ready to go. <clears throat> and in here I have um, sodium lactate uh, and Tussa silk fibers. So that's what's in there. Let me get my goggles on, glasses. And in my oils I have organic colloidal oats um, kale and clay and my caffeine powder and I've already buzzed that in there so that's what's going on in here for my colors today I'm using bramble berries apple moss green because I thought that looked like a limey color <clears throat> and I'm going to try this crafters choice matte yellow oxide uh, and I'm just got those dispersed in a little bit of water here so that when we color They'll be ready to go, and I can add more to adjust if I need to later, but I have their base there. So everything's cooled and ready to go. Let's go ahead and get our lye solution into the oils. And I have a new stick blender in here. It's actually an old stick blender from my kitchen. My stick blender just died on me. Super bummed about that. So I will need to buy a new soaping blender. And I know they make high shaft blenders because look at this is like up to the elbows on here. So I need a taller stick blender. I'm just going to give this a quick buzz and then probably whisk it because I want to have some play time with the colors. And get my whisk in there and then we'll split off into our color bowls. Oh goodness, it's dripping. area tidy. Alright, 
Let me just sort of stir this. Yeah, it's looking very incorporated. So I'm going to go ahead and split off the colors now. Or split off the batter for the colors. You know what I meant. And I thought about using titanium dioxide in the base, but I think I'm just going to let it stay sort of a natural creamy color. Um, so I'm not going to do any coloring in here. <clears throat> We're just going to let it ride and see what we get. I like just the color of natural soap. It doesn't always have to be, you know, super bright. So in the small container, I'm going to go ahead and do my yellow oxide. Ah, actually. Let me go ahead and get my essential oils in before I'm forgetting. So I'm just going to sort of split this up here. There we go. Oh, that lime smells so good. Now I'm going to put the yellow oxide in. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little scratch in my throat and my apple moss green. Such a pretty color. the color depth that we want. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, now let's get our mold over here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the corner pour again because I really liked how that came out in another soap that I just did. So we'll just pour. Pour and pour. And we're just going to go back and forth. little coffee embeds that I'm going to put on top. Not that this has any coffee in it, but being the caffeine themed lime, I figured the little coffee beans would sort of get people in a caffeine mood when they get the soap. So very carefully, or just let me see, right down the middle of each bar. One more. 
my lines got kind of wonky doodle, but that's okay. Once the bars are cut, you won't notice my little curvy lines. So let me spray the top of this with some rubbing alcohol and we will put these beautiful awake bars to bed for the night. And there we go. We will see you on the flip side. All right, it's the next day in the morning here and I took a peek in here and I have to reveal a complete fail on my behalf and I should have known better and as soon as I open this lid you're gonna see what I'm talking about I put melt and pour embeds on top of a gelled soap and I covered this and look what happened dun, dun, dun. I can't believe it oh my gosh my melt and pours melted and you know of course that's what they do so I'm going to try and repair this as best I can. If not, I, uh, I'm kind of at a loss. I was thinking I could maybe hit the top with a blow dryer and swirl it. We'll see. You're going to come along with me while I fix this hot mess because this soap is awesome. These Awake bars have so many good ingredients. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this bar. <laughs> We're going to make it work. I don't know how. Even if I have to shave off the top when I cut them, if they get that desperate, we'll go there. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. So let's go ahead and get this out of the mold. Oh, I'm so mad at myself for not thinking ahead. It was just a really silly mistake. So let's get this out and let's see how our swirls turned out. All right. We're going to look at the bright side. Maybe the inside of this soap will be spectacular and soothe my wounded pride here that I did such a silly mistake. I've been making soap for years and years and years, over a decade, and you know what? I still, <laughs> I still make mistakes. You know, it's, it's okay. Life, it's a great big learning experience, isn't it? I'm glad for it. Keeps you humble. That's a good thing, right? A little dose of humble pie never hurt anybody. So. Peel this back. Oops, this rubbery thing kind of snaps back into shape. It's really kind of cool. The material that they make these um, liners out of are so cool. So I think this is going to be really beautiful on the inside. I really do. I'm very hopeful. Let's pull that off. And there's the sides. Let's pull our slab cutter over and get into this bad boy. Ooh, that's kind of groovy. I like it. Maybe it'll make up for the wonky top. So there's the inside. We're going to fix that because that just bums me out super bums me out. I'm going to turn it away from the camera. I don't even want to look at it. No. <laughs> I'm in denial. I've crossed denial. And there's the inside. It's kind of groovy. All right. Let's get these bars cut. Alright, I wanted to show you what I ended up having to do. So this is, I found, had one bar where the little beans didn't melt out. So that's originally what it was supposed to look like. It's kind of cute. And here's what I'm having to do with the rest of them. But that's not a bad top. It's pretty. And uh, it's like a half an ounce I'm losing with the cut on the top. So the bars are very comparable in size. 
it's really not, you're not losing a lot of soap. Sorry. There. So, there it is. Live and learn. Be careful when you cover your soaps with melt and pours on top because they will indeed melt. Um, so anyway, I'm going to cut the tops off the rest of these wonky bars and we will just have a nice plain top like that. All right, so here was my, uh, what I ended up doing here. Um, I had my sample bars already, so I didn't save these little top pieces that I cut off, but I've diced them into these little chunks and I'm going to roll them in mica and just save them for another time and they will just be like fun embeds because they're pretty colored and they have the lime essential oil so I'll probably put some gold mica dust on them and um, make them like little gold shards and use them in a soap no waste that's the nice thing about soaping is um, you know even when you make a mistake it's not a loss you can uh, I could rebatch it or I'm going to choose to make embeds out of them um, so it's never a loss it's always a learning experience and that's a good thing so there we have it our caffeine bars they are a lime essential oil and about a triple shot of espresso in each bar so these are wake up energy bars and there we have it my little golden rods here and I used um, shimmer gold mica from nurture soap to uh, make these beautiful little golden bars. So I'm going to zip these up and save them for the next time uh, I get inspired to make, uh, I don't know, now I've got to get creative and think where to put these. So there they are, never a waste.